Hi everyone, Murdoch here, hope you're well. Now in this video, I want to talk about playing off a tight lie. A tight lie around the green. Now, hard pan you call it in America, and generally in England you don't get that hard lie but for maybe a couple of the summer months. Now I've got something here that's very similar, but it's winter time so very rare, but I'm just on the fringe. You can see I'm not far off the green. But let's assume now, let's pretend that there's the edge of a bunker, there's maybe a bit more tall grass, some hazard here before the putting surface. And let's say I have to fly it over the fringe, I can't run it, I can't putt it. Because if you come to this situation, the first thing you want to do is, can I putt it? Because that's the easiest option. But let's pretend there's a hazard here and I have to fly it 10 or 12 feet. Now, hard pan you do play differently i can't open the face and get it over my object so it's not going to go as high when it's very hard ground here you're running the risk of it deflecting off the ground if you open the face and produce bounce so you stand slightly differently so from down the line i want you to have the handle quite vertical so the shaft is more vertical than you'd play it normally so you're actually holding the club more down the hand this way, all right? It's almost like a putting grip. I don't mind you overlapping a little bit either with that forefinger. So you want the heel of the club off the ground. The toe is gonna to be touching the ground, but quite light. The reason why we do this, if there's a little bit of heel swing, we're okay. We're not snagging the club. We're not duffing it. We're not heavy, hitting it heavy. So high hands, still place the weight slightly forward. Not as much as a normal shot, but just slightly because your hands are going to be a little bit more over the ball as well. We're not going to have so much shaft lean into it. So high hands like so, ball closer to you, heel off the ground, down the bottom of the handle. And just gently brush the grass. You can see, even though we're catching the ground a bit heavy, there's no resistance. I don't mind you finishing ever so slightly in this position with the club head ahead. Whereas on a normal pitch, I kind of like this position more, where you've got a firmness in that left wrist. So don't be afraid. Light grip. And it's long pendulum style action. We're not setting the wrists. Remember, we're preventing that by having the club running more diagonal through the hand here. A vertical shaft at address. So weight slightly forward. And it's a long putting stroke. Now, remember, play aggressively because we're also going to be missing the center of the club here on purpose. We can't actually hit the middle of the club from the way we're standing to it. It's going to be more of a toe hit. So allow for that. So you can actually hit it firmer than you think. Close the face slightly as well is okay. Again, nice aggressive pitch like this. So always commit. So three practice swings. And you can see you're just skimming the hard pan. Now get the don't care attitude and play that aggressive third practice swing that you liked. We aim well, don't care, commit. So you can see with a putting style stroke, you aggressively hit it off the hard pan with the toe side of the sweet spot. It's very toe hitty. Okay, let's try another. So. High hands, down the bottom of the club. Like a putting grip, soft wrists. Don't mind a little bit of movement there. Weight leaning slightly on the left side. Now, big swings, a big putting stroke, because you're going to be hitting it off the toe end of the club. You're not getting the sweet spot impact here, so it can be more aggressive. Close the face ever so slightly, depending on how bad that hard pan is. The heel is off the ground. Play it aggressively, commit. And then it's flying over that patch, running onto the green. So that's your basic hard pan, chip and run style shot from around the green. You'll rarely be in this situation, but if you do, try that and see how you get on. Hope it helps. Hope you liked the video. Thumbs up if you did. Like and subscribe for more, and I'll see you soon. Mm -hmm.